This is not going to be a tutorial, not so much a tip. This is something I'm still learning, but I just want to let everybody know about these new features. Let's just dive right in first. Oh, this Arma 3. I mean, it's, uh, I'm always going to come back to Arma 3. So this was one that I am actually using analog joystick move, but I've always struggled to get it to feel right in Arma. It just, the game just doesn't really support it, and you have to jump through hoops to get it to feel right. And even when you bind it in, it doesn't, it doesn't really work, like it doesn't apply to all the vehicles. But the main reason I did it, and the main reason I'm always pushing joystick move, is because you get that full range from a walk to a jog, and then you can put outer ring binding for a sprint. Well, well, oh boy, do I have a surprise for you. So I switch back to my WASD. This first one I'm going to cover, there's actually three new features. And we're just going to kind of dive into them a little bit. I have not mastered these. It, this is Steam beta stuff. It might change, but I just wanted to get this out there. So we go into this outer ring binding, and now we have soft press as an activator. And look at this, I have two of them. So what this does, so now I'm, I'm on WASD, I have walk, jog, which is W, and shift, all on a direction pad. Come back down to jog, come back down to walk. That's so nice, and the haptics feel really good. It's, I mean, this... I've been wanting this for, for so long, I can't even describe, like, I actually made a whole video, maybe, maybe somebody saw my five things Steam Input still needs, and we can get some others, because the soft press is basically a pressure range activator, that's how I was describing it in that video. So what it is doing... <laughs> is it's being applied to the outer ring binding and then when you go to soft press so like I have left bumper is my in-game binding for walk with a hold, a walk hold it's recommended right now that you keep this on simple threshold That that's something too like I'm playing around with I haven't quite totally figured out what differences we get but then this would be the range so think of it the same way as the outer ring binding. I have this inverted, because it still is like thinking of it as that outer ring, or outer edge. And then when I click on this, that bottom, I guess, let's uh, pop this up. So that bottom slider is showing me like, where do I want that to kick in? Kind of, like, this is my walk. About right there, I want it to go into a jog to stop firing that. And then on this one, I don't invert it, which means it's going to be on the outer edge, the outer range. I pumped it up pretty far, because I just want it on the very end. And that's pretty much it for that. So then, I'm walking. Normal W, and sprint. And that's great. And that applies to... That applies to the touchpads, that applies to sticks, and that applies to triggers. Like, really... Hey, there, little dragonfly. Really, what I think this was designed for is to bring... bring a better-feeling dual-stage trigger to standard one range triggers like that that's my hunch and even like why it's called the soft press i think it was put in there for having better control when you don't have the actual full full pull on your trigger but i'm excited for that one to see what we can do with it and play around more like i've already i already put it in my star citizen profile because it gives me a better 
like on the joystick move, I had like an inner circle would go to the mouse layer, outer edge was joystick move. And what drove me crazy was the inner, you know, I would do an inverted outer edge binding. So this middle circle would transition you to the mouse. And the problem was, even if I turned haptics off, it would still fire the haptics because it was inheriting them from the joystick move. But this new, the soft press activator, does not do that. So if I have a large dead zone for that joystick move and then have that whole middle be an inverted soft press with no haptics, it feels exactly how I wanted it to. So, so that's just one like very hard to explain specific example of a way that I wanted to use it that's maybe not the original way it was intended, but that's letting me improve an already you know very difficult, <laughs> complicated profile that I had. I'm excited that it specifically applies to get that walk, jog, sprint, all on one movement, which will apply to the pad or the stick. And it's gonna let us do some pretty cool things on triggers. So, okay, that's quick, rough, dirty, soft press. The other is, let's go into the vehicle. The other is an analog. Mm, let's imagine we are in Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 has, well, not just Battlefield 4, a fair number of games have all of the vehicle have steering and acceleration all like on the right stick. Up and down is accelerate, back up, left, right to turn. But what this analog does is, let me turn this off. So on the soft pull, I have right trigger. Right trigger is my accelerate. Let's say in this particular instance. I go to analog. I want you to do... I want to do left stick, push right, just as an example. So now... Let me turn... I need to turn analog off. I don't want it doing the right trigger right now. So now... You know, we have left stick right. But I have a bound that to the trigger, and you can see the bar in my trigger, I have the full analog range on that trigger. So it's letting you swap around analog functions and maintain the full analog of it, which is pretty freaking cool and interesting. Covered soft press, covered analog. Let me walk, jog, sprint back over <laughs> back over here. So the other, you know, there's another new beta Steam input function. That is mouse delta. So okay, that just for example. I put that here. That is this new icon on the mouse. So you click in that, you can define the X and Y axis, you can select the vows <laughs> for this. But this was um, mainly designed for, I think the description was for like, when you right click for little menu options in games. So let, yeah, let me just, before I ramble on about it, I believe the function for it would be like, so, all right, instead of having to move my mouse around, I have it bound to A, so I just push A. Boom, it goes over here, goes over here. It's going to keep going, like, so you can see that I, it's too far right now for me to, to get it where I want it. Let's take it. Let's try that. Now it's not enough, but you get the idea. I think that is the intended. That's that's really what it's designed for. It's going to keep pushing you that way. Now, I've heard a lot of people 
talking about this hoping that it can be like flick stick I don't think it's going to be able to do that well I mean maybe it's going to feel pretty clunky though I I that that's not what this was designed for hold off cuz I do think they're trying to get get you know a a basic flick stick option in there for sticks cuz like when I apply it to my I mean, you can see it's barely moving me. So let's... And I've also found that it's not consistent in some games. It's a smooth drag of the cursor, or of the camera. So let's pick it up, maybe like that. Yeah, see, it still is barely moving me in this... And I just I was testing this in Squad, and it was completely different range of motion. Like it, it's it's mouse sensitivity specific in the game, and I believe it is screen resolution specific. Like it just it has a lot of limitations that I'm not sure if I would use it a lot in profiles that I'm sharing. On my screen, it's moving perfectly where I want it for like a D-grid, for like an inventory grid. But for you, if you have a different mouse sensitivity or a different screen resolution, it's moving it a different number of degrees. But that's, that is that. That's mouse delta. So we have mouse delta, soft press activator, and analog, which is pretty cool and I'm excited to see what we can do with them and all right that's it so yeah that's currently in beta I'll probably I'll probably cover it once it goes into stable just to see what's changed and what else I can do with it bye that felt that felt more scattered again yeah that's Oh, I keep taking too much time off in between videos, and then I come back to it. Like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. What am I talking about? What is the point? What's happening? The world's burning. Why am I making videos about Steam Input? Phew.